Hi, in this project, we explore question answering using dynamic memory networks from knowledge in natural language. As an introduction, question answering is a very difficult NLP task, uh, which requires reasoning. Uh, currently in search engines, uh, a myriad of handmade features uh, are used for question answering or structured the knowledge sources, which both of them require a lot of human intervention and are not scalable to huge and raw and unseen um, data sources. So the idea of using machine learning to train an, a system end to end to be able to question answers on, uh, on raw data seems very interesting and promising. Memory networks have shown interesting results in question answering tasks on a small data stage such as BABI. Uh, so in this project, we will explore this option. As you can see in the picture, uh, dynamic mem mem memory networks are uh, typically made of four modules, input module, question module, episodic memory module, and answer module. Input module basically encodes the input facts, which we, which we are going to infer from to question answer into uh, an encoded vectors. And question module will do the same thing over the uh, question, which usually are uh, gated uh, recurrent units. Episodic memory uses these encodings and uh, to do inference over the data and feeds the uh, result into the answer module, which uh, creates the answer. Uh, in this project, we only use the single word answer to make it easier for the model. Um, our data set consists, um, our data set is from the Microsoft Bing's explanatory question answer data set, which is a very high quality data set uh, and filtered through judges. Uh, we, we created three data sets from the same data with different configuration. The first data set has 2,600 question answers per for training, 371 for validation, and 350 for test. Uh, and also the data only includes the top 1,000 URLs with most question answers. Um, the, and in the data set two, we have uh, 14,100 for training, 1,900 for validation, and 2,100 for testing. Um, the data set is split uh, into training, uh, evaluation, and test sets. However, the uh, splitting is done differently than DS1 um, in the way that no um, uh, question answers in validation and test or validation and training have any common URLs. This is to make sure that model is not overfitting. And the data set three, which is the same as the data set two, except that the uh, ans uh, only uh, question answers are chosen, which the answer has more than 10 questions associated with it. Uh, in terms of the baseline, we, uh, our baseline is based on uh, a, a very naive baseline, which basically finds the most uh, similar uh, window uh, of input facts to the question. Uh, and um, uh, similarity is defined as the uh, sum of the um, inverse document frequency of the common words uh, in the question and the window in the to the fact and the highest uh, highest uh, scoring window is chosen if the answer exists there we say that the method has found the answer we we saw that it could achieve five percent accuracy however our um, uh, with the window size of five however our dynamic memory network train end to end was able to achieve 99 percent accuracy on training 30 percent on validation and 90 percent on test as the figure show um, the results show on DS1, uh, we are we are achieved to 70 about 70 percent on percent on validation. However, uh, the, there could be cases that the question answers are common between are very similar between training and valid validation. So, if the model even is answering. Uh, uh, one answer uh, is basically producing one answer for all the questions associated to one input fact. This could actually uh, uh, be f uh, falsely shown as high accuracy. As you can see in DS2 and DS3, we see that it's more about 20% uh, um, uh, as we have uh, claimed. Yeah, in terms of the finding, I think one important issue is that the data sparsity issue is, is a major issue. And we don't have much question answers per page and causes the model to uh, overfit and not learn much input facts and um, uh, much from the input facts. Uh, we could partially improve that by having by choosing the answers which have more than 10 questions. Uh, however, this still needs some improvement. Uh, also, uh, the attention mechanism is not very efficient because uh, it has to attend to hundreds of facts per page. And if you don't have enough question answers, that would 
would be very difficult in terms of the field reaction. I think we need to add more question answers. Um, we can uh, ex uh, extend that to multiple answers, which are more human uh, uh, readable and, and, and it's more uh, in line with our vision and also improving the attention mechanism, as we mentioned, by somehow pre-filtering the input packs or having a more efficient system. Thank you.